The curbstone is full of chalk marks. Kids? No idea if this is relevant at all. I've just about got everything a girl could need in this little bag, but sadly nothing to wipe these markings away. Well, okay, but just this once. Where's it supposed to go? Sounds like a good plan. Bio waste. Certainly the right color. Wow, that stinks. With immediate effect, this container now falls under the responsibility of the City Waste Collection Service. I know Berlin punks are finding new body parts to punch holes in every day, but I think we've some years yet before all of our body piercing comes into fashion. Although, with that security camera there, perhaps I could upload the result to YouTube and set the trend. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm no punk. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. According to this, the BSR collects the waste paper first. Then another truck comes for the bio waste. The bulky stuff goes tomorrow. I know Berlin punks are finding new bulbs. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over easily enough. But then I'd be in full view of the security camera and the doorman would spot me. I need to find a better way. made it. Now I somehow have to get into the institute and find Professor Hartman's office. Would seem to be the main entrance. Waltz into the building through the main entrance? The doorman would chuck me straight out. There's gotta be some more subtle way in there. plastic box. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. I've already cleared it out. A solid pair of head shears of the manual variety. Some parts of Germany have yet to discover electricity. These work gloves are at least three sizes too big for my delicate hands. Now, if that's not the most cutest abandoned rake. A rake. A poorly coiled hose. Damn, the clamp is solid. I can't get the hose off. The window on the upper floor is open. Low walls, okay. Two stories? Uh, nope. I'm not a world-class free climber. That's a horse chestnut. It was tree of the year in 2005. How do I know that? It says so on the little sign. The sign is fastened to the tree with four screws. Nothing's gonna happen without some tools.
The gardener would appear to give the weekend a higher priority than tidying up his tools. Good man. The perfect entry assistance. Hmm. What can we say about this ladder? It's aluminium. That means it's light and easy to handle. It seems to be new. There are no signs of use on it. I count 14 rungs divided over two legs, which are held together by two thin chains. Well, that's that then. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. This ladder, in particular, is way too short. Freedom for garden hoses. Green, long, flexible. A typical garden hose, then. The coin's a bit too thick to fit the screws. I'll tie the hose as tightly as I can to the rake. <laughs> that has to be the strangest fishing rod that I've ever made. Not even MacGyver could use that as a grappling hook. The hose is too stiff, and the rake's teeth are too short to grip onto anything. Too big for the small screws. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. They Who needs a bolt cutter when head shears can do the job just as well? I've cut through the chains. Well, it's longer but it's also lost any semblance of structural integrity. Unfolded, the ladder's certainly long enough, but it's too flimsy to put weight on. I'll push the rake through both legs of the ladder and secure the whole thing with the garden hose. I've secured the rake with the garden hose. That's a pretty sturdy contraption. That is a sturdy ladder. Well done, Sam. Unfolded, the ladder almost reaches to the window. I think it works pretty well right there. Climbing through windows. A real cat burglar me. And look, the coast is clear. That office belongs to a Dr. Fritz Schneider, not Professor Hartman's office. That's Lieschen Muller's office, not Professor Hartman's office. Professor Hartman's office. Won't open. Here's a box of empty file folders. <laughs> empty files. Useless. Forms and faculty notices. Not much interest to me. Nothing that I could use.
a snack machine. Each of these little calorie bombs costs a cool $1.99. No dough, no go. And there it is, the exception to the rule. You don't always find something useful in waste bins. Go down and run into the doorman's arms, perhaps? I don't want to push my luck too far. This old trick might actually work. Or then again, maybe not. The idea's right, but the plastic money didn't take the strain. We're obviously not talking about hard currency here. You only live once. I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack? And one cent change. Spicy crackers. I'll hang on to this snack for later. One step on the way to my first million. The one cent coin is thin enough to unscrew it. Amaze balls. Ugh, I have sunk to a new low. On the thin metal sign, it says common horse chestnut and the Latin name Esculus Hippocastanum. That'll work. I'll bet my sailboat on it. Phew. Okay, Sam. Find the damn info on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. Algae to zygopetalum, there's everything a botanist's heart could desire here. I don't think that these books are going to help me further in any kind of way. Files with details of students' projects and the prof's expeditions. Maybe I'll find a clue here. The TUR projects. I need some kind of a lead here or I won't know what I'm looking for. Time is a luxury I don't have. The cliché that professors are not exactly neat freaks might well hold true, but surely this is taking it to the next level. Hartman really must have left in a hurry. A stack of homework, botany books, and writing materials. Thanks, but I don't think that they're going to help me right now. There are some scraps of torn up paper on the top. Hmm, there's some torn up paper on the top. I'll take a closer look. A ripped up fax. Now let's see if I can put this back together.
His expedition party sent him a fax. They've discovered some hitherto unknown species. Great, but where, for heaven's sake? Unfortunately, there's only a code here. GHN7531. But maybe that'll help me further. Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN7531. These here are the wrong files. These files all have GHN on them. This file is marked GHN7520 to GHN7535. It ought to contain notes from the current expedition. Bingo. GHN7531. The expedition has gone to Ghana, to Lake Basomtui. So what the hell are they looking for there? Lake Basomtui lies in the meteorite crater in Ghana's Ashanti region. It's 8 kilometers in diameter, about 80 meters deep, and doesn't have an outflow. The ecosystem and the lake are endemic meaning there are lots of plant and animal varieties that are unique to that location. The priority is investigating the effects on the ecosystem of a massive meteorite strike. Hmm, what's that on the facts? The expedition has discovered some previously unknown organism. If the story's big enough to pull the professor away with such short notice, perhaps it's big enough to buy me a boat. Let's hit the trail for Ghana and Lake Basum Tui. The flight to Accra via Amsterdam was pretty fuss-free, but the in-flight food was crappy, as expected. I was able to revive myself with some traditional foo-foo and a few Gordon Sparks in a chop shop before a bush pilot flew me into an airfield by Lake Basomtui. With a bit of luck, I'll be at the base camp in a few hours. Wow. Looks like everyone upped and left in the night. Strange. I've got goosebumps all of a sudden, despite the heat. I'm getting something of a horrible feeling here. I'd better get a move on so I can reach the Lake Basomtui camp before nightfall. In the facts, it says that the professor's colleagues have discovered a previously unknown species. Why am I not one bit surprised that I don't have any reception here? Not exactly the best of the best, but it can take a usable picture and the flash is top notch. Not a multifunction tool, just a simple pocket knife without the gimmicks. Much more practical than rubbing sticks together. The craft of writing my ass. A voice recorder gets a more natural interview every time. Sits around all day. Probably shows up for food and fondling. <laughs> Men. Just two admittedly unfortunate words. Cat allergy. Airport terminal, Africa style. A little bit too rustic for my taste. Where's the air-conditioned bar and duty-free shop? It's certainly seen better days. Yar! Sorry. It's screwed tightly to the column. The pocket knife only has this one blade, but it's extremely versatile. I can unscrew screws with it, for example. A coat hook without a coat and made from metal. 
Believe it or not, there are people who don't carry such things in their inventory, but actually wear them on their heads. So sad. Large scratches torn into the wood. Must have been something considerably bigger than the cat over there. Airport terminal, Africa style. Lemonade. Sweet as shit and warm to boot. <laughs> but even ice cold, it's not an option. If I want to avoid doing my figure some real harm. Well, okay, I'll take it with me. But be aware that this is non-alcoholic piss water. Hell, they've seen better days. Now then, any juice left in these at all? Look like they've been used. I should maybe give it a test. Hey, Dixie. Now what would those Southerners say if they knew there was a mobile toilet named after their hymn? Holy shit. If a dead fish and a tramp had a baby and the baby threw up into a dog's mouth, the dog's end product would smell better than this toilet does. Even if I had to, I would not go in there. Come, gather round, and have the piss taken out of you by a crazy lady with a megaphone. Ooh, I like it. Hmm, so what do you need a megaphone for in the jungle? A limp sock. Reminds me of my ex. Huh, you know what? Enough of that. Looks like a reliable enough contraption. It clamps two ropes together. Okay, I've caressed the screws. Now what? In this situation, unfortunately, the pocket knife is entirely useless. Crates of provisions. Well, I'm not gonna starve to death here, that's for sure. I'm not that hungry yet. Wow. The camp lies northeast from here. That's where we want to be headed. Puh. Where's that perverse stink coming from? Oh, right. Pumba. They may be cute in cartoon form. But in the real world, those warthog tusks should not be underestimated. Okay, away we go. Sing Hakuna Matata for me then! Since we don't know each other all that well, I'm gonna be keeping my distance, okay? As long as that hog's eyeballing me, I really don't give a damn about the tree trunk. If I'm going to get to the camp, I need to drive off that wild pig. Great. He seems to be quite unaffected. I guess that act's only good for scaring off lechers and bars. And here's me thinking I had the act down pat. 
I suppose compared to most men, this pig is smart enough to tell the real thing from the crazy lady making cat noises in the jungle.